welcome back and in this video there is an update on Russia's new lunar mission Luna 25. On August 10th a historic event took place as Russia launched its Luna 25 lunar lander into space using a Soyuz 2.1B rocket. This marks the first time in modern history that Russia has sent a probe to the moon that they made themselves. The last time they did was way back in 1976 with the Luna 24 mission. Now, the Luna 25 has already sent back its very first pictures from space. These images were captured on August 13th and were released on by the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. In the pictures, you can see the Russian flag and the mission patch on the spacecraft, along with the views of Earth and the Moon shining brightly against the dark background of space. The images were taken when the Luna 25 was about 31,000 km away from Earth. Just to give you an idea, the moon is normally around 384,400 km away from our planet. So the Luna 25 was getting quite close to the lunar destination. There were some concerns on the social media about the mission's condition after its launch. But these images seem to prove that the ladder is doing well and is on its way to the moon. If everything goes as planned, the Luna 25 will reach the moon on August 15th. and it will spend around 5 to 7 days orbiting the moon before attempting to land near one of the three craters around the moon's south pole the mission was designed to last for at least one year once safely landing on the moon's surface the luna 25 will have some important task it will study the moon's soil look for water ice and carry out experiments to learn more about the moon's thin atmosphere the lander has some cool tools like a laser mass spectrometer and a device that can shoot the lunar soil and analyze the gas that come out to understand what it's made of. The Luna 25 is just one of the main missions happening near the moon's south pole. India's Chandrayaan-3 rover recently entered lunar orbit and is set to touch down on August 23rd. And even South Korea got to the action with their Korea Pathfinder lunar orbiter carrying special instruments to search for water ice near the moon's south pole. Thanks for watching.